Welcome back, everyone, to fucking Tibet cancelled by national focus. Because apparently, to make the federal China, you need to be at peace. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, we're, we're gonna kill the Tibetans for this transgression against the Chinese people. And, uh... They better know that they're about to get their ass whooped, basically. And yeah, like, I am about to be... <laughs> That's still going on in Africa. <laughs> They're still having their little fun wars. Their big brain moments. Alright. Make Tibet great again? No, more like make Tibet China again. Alright. Get these motherfuckers up here. And, I mean, I suppose I'm gonna use them in the upper, upper Yangtze, even though... <sighs> we're not fighting there anyway. It's uh, just that there's no airfields in actual Tibet because... Haha, <laughs> it's a medieval country. Ma free Tibet. Yes, free to have serfdom. And to murder people for les majeste or whatever. Oh yeah, overrun those motherfuckers. What happened to the Japanese, you know? Oh, they're still mat pop on their stupid island. They're still supporting the Pacific States. Uh, I think that that's a pretty... Look at that Nazbull! Social Democrat and National Populist fighting side by side against the uh, fucking MacArthur. <laughs> New England. John Gilbert Winnant. Interesting. Martin Diaz Tamayo. Okay, brother. Yeah, he, the International, would, will eventually lose this. And. Savinkov with no portrait eventually might kill fucking Kolchak. I don't know. He does have to secure Central Asia and into the Caucasus, maybe, who knows. Alright. Can we still push forward over here? Yeah, of course we can. Because the only thing that's bigger than China is the balls of our soldiers. Yes, I know that that's not English, but yeah, who cares? Yeah, we're about to encircle basically the entire Tibetan army three times over, so. Please just pop force attack and get these motherfuckers off of my country. Okay, very, very close to actually closing this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! Yes, indeed. I see a lot of people getting cucked. I'm happy for this. Oh, if, actually, if we take this place, the Kumul Khanate has the Northern Pass. So if we take this place here, we do that by preventing these guys from doing what they want, which is to reinforce, then... All of that is gone. Very good. Very good, my friend.
Very nice Aroni and Pepperoni. Alrighty then. That is so awesome! Yes! I am a... Um... I was gonna say strategic genius, but, you know, beating the AI, so, yeah. Oh, look at that, yeah. Good. Tibet's dead. Now, I only wish that they would die faster. How much have we lost? 18,000, man, that's so much. That's 18,000 too many for this shit country. But Chen Ming will not allow anyone to not submit to federalism anymore. Now that the dream of the Federation is so close to reality, we must not relent. We must not break. We must finish what we started. Alright. The final resistance in the middle of the Xining Qinghai Highlands to the federal government is about to be crushed. And now only Lhasa stands against the might of our armies. Very good. Fucking finally. Now watch like me go into the new focus tree and it not being interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Integrate the Dairen Lease Territory. Hmm. Integrate Taiwan! Yes. Federalize Taiwan. Real, Xi, real fucking Xi Jinping hours. Right here. Alright, get this army right near the Kumo Khanate. Can we do anything to them? Can we federalize them? No, we cannot. Unfortunately, we cannot federalize the Kumo Khanate. Oh, no, no, no. You're too weak. Hmm. <laughs> like how we still have the Guangzhou cement factory. It's just the greatest thing as the company. The industrial company. Ooh, yeah. The Tibet fucking uh, autonomous region has been created. Very good. Very good Reno. Nope. Now this army is the concession federalization army now. Just in case we ever get to... Um, we ever get to do that. That's what the blue army shall do. Although, to be fair, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need to give them some extra troops to do that, but that's fine. That's fine, that can be done. That can be done. It's over. A new China. Fucking finally. Alright. This is so close to fucking being done. Oh, we, <laughs> we need world tension to be at 75%. How is world tension not at 75%? With fucking Europe on sort of fire, more like Italy on fire. Uh, huh? Okay. Apparently that is a thing. The fate of Tibet. Yeah, no. Military occupation is the only answer. Um, you know, Russia eventually is gonna start up trouble. All of that, all that happened in China, this thing, this thing as well, Socialist India's officer, oh Jesus, um, it's fucking Africa, wait, <laughs> Congo's part of the Entente because they're a vassal of Portugal, 
Yo, 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 Portugal, you, you need to attack Barotza land. You've got a war goal. The Southwest Africa is gonna take it. Fucking Sudwest Africa. Sudwest Africa is doing the Barotza land campaign. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. Ooh, Wuhan has nine infrastructure. That is good. That is some good stuff. Oh, well, actually. Probably should garrison Port Arthur, you know. Port Arthur is uh, useful to have. Now, what kind of division are you? Oh. Okay. How interesting. Yeah, this army just needs to be a whole bunch of uh, weird units, really. Uh, yeah, see, I wanted... Um, I wanted these things to be a little bit better organized, but now I'm left with, like, different division types. Mm. That's alright. Oh yeah, we can train troops. Oh yeah, we definitely can. Train more divisions. Even though we're probably not gonna last long enough. Or this campaign's probably not gonna last long enough for them to be utilized against anyone. I just want to see the new focus tree, you know. And see the federalism. Also, I really love how... Oh, okay, we have that revolt going on. Um, more African revolts, yeah. Now Zudvest Africa has this. Now, will they continue? Probably not. Big Buganda. Big Chari Emirate. Big Cameroon is about to happen, apparently. Against the coming of Gabon. There we go, the United Provinces of China proclaimed with China Lark. Oh, that color is so sexy, actually. With China largely under the control of Chen Jiuming's National Defense Army, a new republic has been proclaimed in Beijing as Federalist troops parade through the Tiananmen Square. Uh, certainly nothing weird, uh, nothing bad is happening there. Holy fucking shit! It's good! What the hell? I actually never s have never seen this. The People's Army. Love it. The aviation industry. Develop the Jew XPO. Fucking hell. Project Zhongyun. Which might mean uh, something cool. Oh, man. The Huangpu Naval Academy. These icons are so good. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at that in a bit. Uh, first, yeah. Uh, the United Provinces of China, as often called in the West, has completely replaced the previous internationally recognized Chinese government. And with their power secured, it is only a matter of time before the international community recognizes it. The Federalist government intends to organize a national conference cons consisting of deputies from all liberated provinces to draft a new constitution and form an official provisional government until national elections can be called at the earliest conven convenience. Another one? This is getting ridiculous. Another national conference. Oh, man. This time, though, like, uh, you know. This time, they have literally no choice but participating. The new form is so fucking far down. Deal with the separatists. So far down, though. Holy shit, that's gonna take forever to get there. The federal constitution. The federal constitution of China. Yeah, because right now we have new um, new modifiers. Very low popular support. Very low federal authority. The issue of corruption. 
disrupted military production, disunited military, and inadequate public services. It's almost like... It's almost like making a country... <laughs> I got no one's fucking in there. It's almost like making a country is difficult. Anyway... Uh, let's get working, I suppose. <laughs> Chongqing tank plant. This is the coolest fucking shit. Unity through service, the Chinese People's Army. It's almost a People's Liberation Army. We'll demobilize our con. Oh no, this! <laughs> We're not at war anymore! <laughs> We're not at fucking war anymore. We're gonna get strikes. As soon as we're fucking in... Oh my god. This is so not okay. Hey Korea, hey Kim Koo. Kim Koo, that's gotta be the worst name I've ever heard. Alright. Yeah. The Kumo separatists have to be dealt with. The problem is, it's gonna take so long. Okay, so this is two 70-day focuses. Then, we gotta get down there. That's two more 70-day focuses. That's two more 70-day focuses to the first federal elections, or sorry, one more. So it's like four 70-day focuses to the first federal elections. And then two more 35-day focuses. Anyway, let's actually take a look at the focus tree. So, National Conference, form a provisional government, restore the Senate. The Senate, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yeah, until the Qing Restoration had a Senate. The good old days. Um, first draft of the Constitution. So, a new Constitution. Either support the farmer unions or... Um, uh, concessions to the landowners to gentry cooperation land to the tiller self-organization for work holy shit the federalists are actually powerful look at that plus 15 percent factory output that's insane good business relations yeah see out of the farmer unions and the gentry the gentry is much better but this one oh man the psa oh Oh no, that hurts. Chen Jiming would definitely support the PSA. <laughs> that fucking hurts. Now we have the Mexican military junta under Pablo P Gonzalez Garza. And the newly reunited USA under the military junta of Douglas MacArthur. Take the fight abroad. Shall begin trials against the traitorous generals who join the other factions of the Civil War. This will defend. Man, so cool. So back in business. Yeah. What is he gonna do? He could do anything. Right, because he has a non socialist authoritarian government, so he could rebuild the Monroe Doctrine and make the League of American States. Oh, what's going on? Oh shit! Wait, the current the current motion? What's going on with the league counts? Apparently nothing. <laughs> okay, man, the political power is so low. Holy crap! Because of the very low federal authority and because of the very low stability, it's time to national reconstruction. <laughs> It's time for some national reconstruction. Can we still do some of the reconstruction focuses? Are there still some of them to do? No, we, we have taken all of them. But we're gonna instantly get fucking worker strikes. Alright, let's uh, take some political power, form a provisional government so that we can... So that we can fucking demobilize the economy. <laughs> oh shit, that's not enough. Ooh, the new capital. The new capital! While the provisional government are, uh, sits in Guangzhou, the National Conference discussed different choices for a new national capital for China. Beijing was immediately out of the question! Its connection to the First Republic and the monarchy was too strong. The ex uh, 
three potential cities were narrowed down. Nanjing, formerly the capital of the Ming Dynasty and provisional capital of the First Republic before Yuan Shikai's usurpation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, usurpation has significant value among nationalists and republicans. Wuhan, where the Xinhai Revolution that overthrew the Qing for the first time began, is valued more by revolutionary-minded people. Or Guangzhou, the current provisional capital and of course the center of our power valued by the Federalists. We are of course going to keep Guangzhou. Although to be fair, for the Federalism roleplay perhaps Wuhan would be pretty cool because it's literally central, you know? So, yeah. That, that, that might have also had, but, you know, we're gonna keep the Guangzhou. Also because, you know, Chen Yuming, he's still a warlord, guys. <laughs> Man, that Guofang Jun is so good. He's still a fucking warlord. He'd like to keep his capital where his power base is. Uh, national flag debate. The national conference began discussing the official adoption of the national flag. There are plenty who want to restore uh, the flag of the First Republic, the five-colored flag, as a symbol of national unity. Many revolutionaries, however, wish to avoid uh, with the corrupt Beiyang, Feng Tian, and, or the connections with the corrupt Beiyang, Feng Tian, and Zhili warlord regimes, and the party flag of the Public Interest Party, the white Jing symbol on a white on a blue Canton on a red field. So basically, this uh, like. The, the fields are the canton, but the white jing, I have no idea what that is supposed to be, but it is the federalist flag, has grown in popularity along with the federalist movement continues successes. Now, we're gonna keep the United Provinces flag. We're gonna keep it, because, again, you know, it's cool. But, honestly, it looks shit. <laughs> the, the fucking five-colored flag would look so much better, honestly. I don't know, we're keeping the party flag though. Come on, keep that flavor coming. This is cool. This is some good flavor. I wonder if there's gonna be a flavor... Man, that Federalist model province. I wonder if there's gonna be a flavor... Mm, about like the big brain... World Federation idea. Of Chen's. I don't know. Anyway, um, I suppose we could use this time to take a look at some world stuff. Okay, so Poland is now a puppet again under Roman Domowski. What the fuck? So they're, they're still mad pop, apparently. Uh, Germany's trying to make their industry great again by getting one civilian factory in West Prussia with zip free. And... Um, Apparently Austria <laughs> has illegally seized one tile from Germany. And yeah, so basically the Entente and the Reichspakt are sort of, uh, you know, uh, gang-banging. Is that fucking Franco? With, with that flag? Wait. Victory. Which Spain is this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Remove all cores of Carta Spain. Remove all core states of CNTFAI. What the hell just happened here? Restoring the monarchy has a democratic government. Memories of the. What do you mean, memories of the Republic? He is the Spanish Republic. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. That's that's great. That is so good. Uh, Hai Shi is... Hai Ti has a focus tree. Since when? <laughs> okay. I actually had no at the Phoenix. I actually had no fucking idea. I honestly actually had no fucking idea. Anyway, th he declared war on the Dominican <laughs> National Populist Haiti. No, wait, that's the National Populist Dominican Republic. Right, the Dominican Republic has a focus tree. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense. That does make sense. Right, the fate of Haiti. That, that's why I was confused. I'm like, okay. Uh, but yeah, Nat Pop. Um, 
Nat Pop IT is dying to the Dominicans. Cuba looks suspiciously similar to the Americans, but they're the Reichspakt. Victory in the Civil War. Did you take anything in the foreign policy? No. That's the only thing that matters, honestly. Restore the Senate. Uh, Yucatan, wait. He divided Mexico. Hilarious. Central America fell under the radical socialists? But has that flag? The National Revolutionaries? Reject the ideal of Central America? I I'm not sure if you understand that you are Central America. Wait a second. The Democratic. The Democratic Central America won. And then went Radsock. Disgusting. Keep the Republican disgusting. This is bad federalism. Uh, Panama is uh, a puppet of who? Canada, obviously. You're a puppet of Canada. You're a puppet of Canada. Wait. <laughs> Half of South America is in the third international. Wait, Soto? Is that not? Oh no, that's actually the Syndicalists. I was thinking of. Uh... Wait. I was thinking of, what's his name? Come on, the the totalist guy, the Fontes. Yeah, I was thinking of him, and I was like, oh no. Peace with what? That I have no idea what's going on. Oh right, right, right. Okay, he took back New England. Who big brain Savinkov is gonna take back all of the Caucasus? Good for him. Uh, will you kill Kolchak like ever? <laughs> Kolchak is on service by requirement with 14 divisions. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, we have 28 days left to demobilize our economy. Man. Get me some political power so that I do not get striked. Afghanistan is still Afghanistan, India is still India. How strong did they get? 71, 71. <laughs> you are weak. We probably, yeah, we're definitely stronger than Japan now. Amazing. What the, ooh. Big brain socialist Philippines. Unfortunately, all of their, but man, that Indochina almost won. That could have been such a cool uh, Eastern Syndicalist Union. We have Philippines, uh, fucking uh, Indochina, then uh, Burma, then India, and perhaps they could have sandwiched in Siam and had a socialist Siam. Interesting. Wait, Rwanda and Burundi exist apparently. Okay. 19 days left for the demobilization. Big Cameroon. Is this, yeah, this is still a war. Which literally no one can win. That's quite cool, if you ask me. This is cool music. Oh man! Liberia in the Third International, and they're doing quite well. Ivory Coast declared war on Ashanti. This is so cool. Members of the Senate have been elected by the provincial legislature to represent. The great army of the Republic, <laughs> the federal army has risen. Um, have been elected by the provincial governments to represent them, forming the upper house of the legislature. Their first act was to elect Chen Jiuming. Uh, oh no, their first act was to elect the first chief executive of the United Provinces. Um, where have I, where have I heard that before? Um, and they unanimously chose Chen Jiuming. Fucking one country, many systems. Already the provisional head of state. While initially reluctant, Chen accepted the position, only to announce his retirement from politics after his term. From then on, as envisioned by the reconstruction plan, the chief executive would be elected by the people. Who can we elect? In the first federal elections. 
then. If not Chen, who's it gonna be? Anyway, we demobilized our fucking economy, of course. First draft of the Constitution. All right. I am thinking that that's gonna be it for right now. And in the next episode, which is also gonna be the last one, I'm just gonna power through, essentially, the rest of the remaining focus tree. Uh, because I've got... Um, I've got fucking uh, La Resistance to play. Uh, they gave me the key. And so... Yeah. Um, that's gonna be cool, I think. Because, honestly, the, the intrigue and, you know, espionage mechanics look cool. But, I don't know. Let's see if Paradox did well this time. So, yeah. I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. And, um, yeah. Take care.